The Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee is proud to offer this soybean insect video featuring Dr. Chris Stefanzo of Michigan State University. The most important pests of soybeans in Michigan are the soybean aphid, which we've had for uh, the last few years since 2001. Uh, that does a lot of damage by sucking on plants and causing yield loss in that way. We also have a, a number of defoliators, including uh, caterpillars, Japanese beetles, and other things that sometimes can defoliate, but rarely to a point of yield loss. And towards the end of the season, we tend to get spider mite in dry years, which can be very difficult to manage, and also feed on the plant and remove uh, liquids and dry the plant out, essentially. So stink bugs are relatively um, up and coming pests. We've always had native stink bugs in our soybean, but there's a new species of stink bug, the brown marmorated stink bug, that has been moving from the east into the area and has raised more concerns. Many of our stink bugs will move into soybean after wheat harvest, so say in the July time frame, moving into the edge of the field and then into the center where eggs are laid. Uh, the brown marmorated tends to favor tree lines and structures, so fields on the edges of town, on the edges where there's a wood lot, that would tend to have the brown marmorated stink bug, again moving in from the edge into the center. So insecticide resistance is always something we think about as an entomologist or something, somebody that's managing insects. We don't tend to have insecticide resistance in the pests in the, that we typically find in Michigan, but in the case of soybean aphid, resistance is developing in the western states and we want to avoid that. So with any pest, we, uh, our standard, rec standard recommendation is to spray only when needed. If you have the insect and it is over threshold, use the thresholds and again spray only if you need to. Do not put insecticides in with a fungicide or a herbicide just because you're going over the field. If you have the insect again, spray only if you need to and at threshold. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to see more soybean production videos.